guys and welcome to the kitchen so today we are going to use our poblano peppers that we got from the aldi's dumpster so i'm thinking about making some stuffed poblano peppers and so what i'm going to do first is cut both of these in half take all the seeds out and i will be roasting them um well actually i'll be doing a brawl to them and to just blacken the skin on the outside and we're gonna get started so I just cut them in half and I did want to say that poblano peppers are like a mild pepper so that's not like a jalapeno it's in between a bell pepper and um, a jalapeno I'll just say that but it's not really hot and um, all you got to do is take the seeds out of it but I did want to say that it is not very hot but if you also want to use bell peppers for this recipe you can do that as well so now that the peppers are in half and i turned them the inside facing down but i did also want to tell you guys save the seeds don't throw the seeds away if you do bell peppers don't throw them seeds away you can plant them plant them and make some more peppers so don't get rid of the seeds i did want to say that and um, we're going to go ahead and take this. We're going to be using the Wista oven today. And um, it's already warmed up and ready to go. So, like I said, we're going to put this on broil. And we're going to put it at the top where it can get, it can get toasty up there. Because we want the skin to kind of blacken. What happens is that it makes it tender. So, when we do put it back in here to bake it, it's going to be delicious so let's go ahead and close this door and it should be done um i would say maybe let's set it on eh, we'll just keep it at 10 minutes we'll see if 10 minutes if it had blackened enough if not do it a little longer because you want the back of the peppers to be uh blackened okay guys we have our poblano peppers ready I flipped and cooked the inside as well. I wanted it really tender, but this is how it looks when um, you take it out of there. So see, it's kind of blackened, charred on there. That is how you want it to go. So I'm going to just set this in here. It is off. And we're going to work on the meat. So what we're going to be using is ground turkey on this. Now you can use hamburger meat as well for this. So we're gonna let the skillet get hot. So I'm gonna show you the seasonings that we will be using today. We're gonna use this Mexican style seasoning here. Salt, pepper, ground cumin guys. You need some ground cumin. And we have some garlic powder. And I'm going to do some onion powder as well. Let me get my onion powder out. Let's see. I'm going to get some onion powder to go with it. Make sure I have this one undone. Nope, it's a new, new container of that. So let's go ahead and put our ground turkey into our copper skillet. Now guys, this copper skillet that you see here is from the actual, from the dumpster too. I wound up getting two of these brand new in the dumpster. So we are using a container that I got from the dumpster and um, it was brand new in the package, two of them. And I love these, I love using them. So we're just gonna brown this ground turkey and while it's doing that we're gonna go ahead and start adding our seasonings into it we have Mexican style seasoning some salt and you just put this to taste so whatever you like more of than just putting more of it. I mean, it's no certain way that you have to do this. 
and this is the ground cumin. Now the ground cumin, you want to make sure that you have this because this is what's going to make it have the Mexican flair to it. So you definitely want to make sure you have some ground cumin to go in there. There we go. Oh yes. Oh, it smells wonderful. Now what I could have done was did some um, onions, grilled them up in there before I started this. But my daughter doesn't really like onions much. Um, I can sneak it in some things, but you know, she doesn't really like onions and I'm cooking this for both of us. Now, this is starting to brown. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in from the dumpster tomatoes. These are some diced tomatoes that I got from, I think it was from the Aldi's dumpster or Dollar General. And I also want to show you what I made here is just some regular white rice. And um, we're going to mix that in there as well. So let's go ahead and put these diced tomatoes in there. There we go. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Oh, uh, yes. Mm. Can y'all smell it? I'm going to put it over there. Y'all smell it? Oh, oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at the flavor. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's nice. So cook it a few more minutes. And um, I'm going to add a little bit more of the Mexican seasoning um, in there. Alright, let's check on this meat. Ooh, wee! And the tomatoes. Mm -mm -mm. So I want to just cook those tomatoes down. It smells wonderful. put that in there our white rice all right I'm gonna mix that up a little bit for that rice to get the seasoning as well I did turn to turn it off the rice is already cooked so we don't want to overcook it we're just mixing it all together now you can also use Spanish rice cilantro rice whatever type of rice you want to use um, in your dish this is something easy that you can throw together and you know it's kind of like a one-pot meal even though the rice had to be in another pot. But, I'm just saying. <laughs> Pull these out. Remove this over. Let's flip these over, guys. Now, you don't have to cook yours as much as I did. I like mine tender. If you just wanted to cook one side of it, you know, when you're um, brawling it you can do that I like to make sure mine is really well cooked so and then you just spoon this on to the peppers Yum. <laughs> so guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that while we're peeling these peppers up I like them full. Fill them things up. Nice 
and four. All right. So we have these peppers. Now it's up to you what type of cheese. If you want cheese on them, you don't have to have cheese on them. You can go ahead and um, put it in the oven for a few minutes to kind of just, you know, put all that to make it warm up together. But you already have your meat. Everything's hot. So if you wanted to have it like this, you could. But I'm going to put some uh, sliced cheese on there. So uh, we're going to use sliced cheese. Just all it is is to melt on top of there. We like sliced cheese. Um, this is just uh, American sliced cheese. But put whatever kind of cheese you want on there. There's no judgment on that. We're going to put this in the oven. We're going to be using the Wista oven like we have before. And um, I have it on the brawl setting because we only want like maybe three or four minutes just to melt the cheese and then it'd be ready to eat. All right, guys, it's time to get the out of this little oven. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. So I have a plate here. I'm going to plate that up. Let's see. That looks delicious. I'm going to put it right here. All right. Let's go ahead and put a little parsley on there. Cut that off. Get a little bit of parsley flakes on there. Ah, look at that, guys. Oh, yes. So, like I said, the peppers was from the dumpster, the pot I cooked it in, and the tomatoes was all from Dumpster Diving. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're also subscribed to my channel, and I will see you back in the kitchen.